Day of Action for Persecuted Atheist Sohel Arabi on February 4th. So I wanted to make this announcement ahead of time. So first I'll give a little bit of background. For those of you who are not aware, Sohel Arbi is an Iranian atheist and he is a political prisoner who was originally sentenced to death for alleged you know, insults to the Prophet Muhammad um, back in 2013. And over many years and many campaigns, the Atheist, was, Atheist Republic was a part of, um, among many others, um, we fought for the commutation of Sohail Arabi's death sentence, and eventually he was released from prison last year. Now, unfortunately, um, on January 2nd, so Hale was rearrested by Iranian security forces amidst the huge crackdown that's been happening in Iran in, you know, in the wake of the Masami uprising. And that has sparked a general crackdown and manhunt of a lot of other um, prominent dissidents like Arash Sadegi or Hussein Ronagi and now So Hale. And so Atheist Republic has formed a coalition alongside the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain and 40 other organizations that have joined together to basically serve as Sohail's political sponsorship while we fight for his unconditional release and freedom. Um, and to that end, our coalition is planning a lot of different actions that we can use to help keep the spotlight on Sohail and fight for his cause. So Dee is asking a very good question. She's saying, do we know why yet? So far, I actually have some important updates. Um, we do not know why Sohail was arrested yet. Now, the whole question of like, why is a little bit of like a It's a loaded question when it comes to these things in Iran, because it's like, oh, do you have an arrest warrant? No, they don't give arrest warrants. You know, if they want to come after you, they'll come after you. You know, what is he charged with? They'll make it up at some point. They'll find a way to charge you. You know what I mean? It's he's being targeted because he's a dissident. That's very clear. And it follows the pattern of what's been happening over the past four months. Um, so we do know where he is now. So Hale was beaten so badly during his recent arrest that he had a heart attack, according to our sources. And then after that, he was immediately taken to the um, Imam Sajid hospital. And then he was transferred to the Greater Tehran prison. And um, he, our sources have also informed us that he is currently facing custodial abuse. And he's still being denied the medication that he needs because he's a delicate health situation because of previous torture he survived. And um, we do know at this point that he is going to be taken to trial. He will be facing trial. We just don't know the specific charges yet. And um, there's a lot of stuff that we're working on behind the scenes to advocate for Sohail that I can't talk about publicly, but this is what we can talk about publicly. So February 4th is the International Day of Human Fraternity, which is an event started by the United Nations. And so our coalition wants to use this day to help rally behind Sohail and his cause. And you can help join us uh, with a lot of different ways. You can organize a rally and or you can just take a photo and use the hashtags like Free Sohail Arabi and Free Political Prisoners or just Free Sohail or hashtag Sohail Arabi, you know, and post that online and share your message about why his case is important, what it means to you, what it means to fight not only for um, persecuted atheists, people that are persecuted for their non-belief, but also just Iranian political prisoners in general, um, the, the plight that they're facing and the great severe risks to their lives that they're facing by the Iranian authorities. Um, this is all really, really important. So if you're not able to, you know, get out and join a protest, please just make a post, um, uh, take a photo of yourself holding a sign, and maybe share a message to Sohail, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling together a lot of these posts and then sharing these messages and sending them to Sohail. Um, 
and um, you have no idea how big of a difference it makes to you know um, political prisoners to know that there is someone out there watching them someone out there advocating for them keeping their eyes on their case and making sure that um, they're not forgotten um, so please yeah join us on february 4th uh with you know condemning what you the islamic republic has done to sohail and um showing your support for him yeah thank you so much by the way to you and mariam namuzi and everybody else that is um following this and you guys are coming up with so many different ways to try to keep the attention on, on this um there's not that many people doing that right now. So we, you know, not even inside Iran, there's not that much people paying attention to this. So you guys are basically the main people that are keeping attention on his case, which last time I want to remind everybody, the reason why he was not executed was the attention that campaigns like this got him last time. And Atheist Republic was involved with a lot of campaigns that was trying to keep focus on Sohail Arabi and his uh, and his case, which um, people are reporting that saved his life. So now the same thing is needed again, and we don't have the same level of attention right now on Sohail Arabi like we had before because of a lot of other things that are happening in Iran. Um, so... So Susanna and Mayim Namozi and the rest of the crew are basically the main people that are doing this right now, uh, which is could be the reason why this why Sohail Arabi is still uh, is, it could be the difference of him being hanged or not. So thank you again, Susanna. Yeah, I mean this is super important to me. I've I've talked about it before, so I won't like go into like great length here but like so hail is like the reason why i started my activism i wouldn't be the ceo of atheist republic today if it wasn't for so hail so when i found out that he was rearrested it was really devastating and um you know we're all worried for him but um you know for a lot of people this is like someone we consider a friend you know we have contact with him we communicate with him um and um so it's very personal you know, and um, yeah, we we just have to do what we can. So on that note, please join us on February 4th with, you know, making some posts and showing your support for Sohail. I want to highlight this amazing comment. The Latif in the left chat is saying, Iran and Shia cult represents only a minority, 10% uh, of Islam. You're welcome. So you can see how this person, like we're talking about a man's life. And this person uh, is more concerned about the reputation of Islam over a man's life. You can see, like, this is this is the kind of attitude you get when it comes to people who are more concerned about the religion over human lives. I just wanted to highlight that for people to see what, what the kind of people we're dealing with. Anyways. You just broke my brain, Armin. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just wanted to people to see... The, the type of people we have to deal with anyways guys please make sure uh we'll just to help be over us here go... trying not to disassociate from rage no, I, know. <laughs> I know so it's okay it's okay don't worry about it um oh no guys don't time him out i want to see this kind of don't time yeah i want to see that kind of comment so that we could highlight it but yeah it's actually he was kind of spamming but it's okay music guy let him let kind of this kind of people spew their nonsense so that we could highlight them get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description